Welcome to the second episode of Building a Backcountry Burrow. In this series, we are exploring all the different options of how to find a burrow, taking it through training, and then eventually actually taking it out into the backcountry and hopefully do a couple of pack burrow races with it. In this video, we're going to talk about what the Bureau of Land Management program is how to ad and how to adopt a BLM burrow. There's tens of thousands of feral and wild burrows across the Western United States uh, on public and private land. And the Bureau of Land Management or BLM has a great program to adopt those that they go out and uh, capture and round up every year uh, to try to keep the population, the wild or feral population relatively in check. Uh, so then they put those ones that they capture up for adoption. And there's more or less three different basic ways you can go about getting one of those burrows that they capture. The first one is one of going to one of BLM's adoption or sales events. So we'll take a look on the computer here of what that means. Uh, you can go to one of their facilities uh, one of their capture facilities or holding facilities um, off or on site. Um, a off site holding facility might just be a bunch of corrals and um, possibly a training center attached to it. It could also be one of their prison facilities, the prison farms that they train burrows at. Uh, right now we're dealing with COVID stuff, so the you have got to make a lot of appointments. Some of the facilities are just straight up closed to the public. Um, so you really got to do some planning if you want to go visit one of these facilities. Uh, these burrows at these places um, can be gentled or they can be completely feral, straight off the range, um, just pretty much taken care of every day for their basic needs. Uh, so, you know, do your research, ask a lot of questions, contact each of those facilities. The point of contact each one, I'm sure, is very aware of the different training that's gone on with different animals. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're in Idaho, uh, there's a facility in Boise, if you're in Wyoming, this facility in, in Wheatland, Wyoming, um, Illinois, uh, and then all over, all over kind of the Western mid Midwest United States. Other options are the BLM, uh, does, I guess, even further offsite sales events, uh, across the United States. So they'll transport um, Mustangs and burrows to places all over the United States, East Coast, West Coast, North, South, wherever, and have a, um, have a sales event. So, uh, just taking a look, taking a look through the schedule, um, right now it's, uh, almost February, 2021, Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, Georgia, right here. Um, and then they usually have some, some different types of, uh, event details, uh, uh, point of contact, if you click on here, uh, directions to the facility, uh, phone numbers, all that jazz. So, you know, if you're, if you're in one of these areas, this is a good site to monitor to see if there's an event coming up near you if you're not directly accessible to the Western U.S. or one of those facilities and go and check out uh, one of those events. Another option, if you uh, follow around, follow along on their Facebook event or their Facebook page, they have quite a few online events. So sometimes in tandem with these offsite sale events, they'll also run an online auction. So if that's something you're interested in, you can follow their online auction. Um, I normally see those come across on their Facebook page. I'm sure there is an avenue to find the schedule for that on the BLM webpage as well. So you can online bid on those burrows. So the big thing you hear about is the TIP program. What TIP stands for is Trainer Incentive Program. So it's an incentive for trainers to take on uh, wild burrows and Mustangs and they're compensated X amount of dollars um, to get the animal X amount of dollars once somebody picks it up or it's adopted uh, to help offset their time, their time training the animal and the cost of feeding it, all that jazz. Uh, that's the route we're going to go go with for this series for the for my next burrow is the tip program 
So how that works if you're interested in getting a tip trained burrow. So a burrow that's been ideally gentled. What gentled means is they pick up all four feet, they load in their trailer and their halter broke. So it's kind of an intermediate step there between picking one straight up that's feral, been, been captured in a corral and taking it home and learning all that yourse yourself. There's an intermediate step and that's using this tip trainer. So that's the route we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you how to find a tip trainer first. So on the Mustang Heritage Foundation website, they're the nonprofit that's associated with all this. You see their name a lot. Um, they work directly with BLM. Uh, they support this trainer incentive program a lot. And on their website, they've got a great map. Uh, anywhere in the United States, whether you're in Western or Eastern, you can find a tip trainer relatively near you. So we're gonna say we are in Colorado. Uh, and then you click on any one of these dots. Uh, you get their contact information of tip trainers. Uh, you know, if you're in Western Colorado, if you're way out in Eastern Colorado, there's a tip trainer out there. If we go up to those scroll states here, We'll go up to Montana. There's several in Montana as well and all over the United States. So use that to find a tip trainer near, near you. And what I mean by find one is shoot them an email. Their, their phone number is listed on there and start the conversation. Uh, tell them what you're interested in doing with the burrow. Are you, do you want to pack it? Do you want to race it? Do you want to just hike around, have a good time? Uh, or is it just a, a backyard companion pet? Just something cool to have. Um, any one of those options are fine. Just be upfront with your trainer of what your expectations are and, and go from there. Start to build a relationship with them and try to get the best animal for you. Um, with that, then you'll need to fill out a application for BLM. What that looks like is it's a relatively simple government phone. It's got basic basic information so um you know the type of corral shelter feed you're able to provide what sort of trailer are you going to pick it up in the map the map of your facilities uh i provide i just took screenshots off google and attached them to this document that was easier than actually trying to draw a map but something to something to pay attention to is obviously in the middle here there's a bunch of legalese with the BLM application, you can't be convicted convicted of animal cruelty charges. You gotta be above 18 years old. Uh, and there's a few different requirements. So make sure you meet those requirements. If you've been convicted of animal cruelty, you probably shouldn't be adopting an animal anyways. So one other thing to keep in mind is based on the location you're at, we'll scroll down here. They've got minimum shelter requirements. So, uh, you know, the weather's different in different parts of the country, so they want you to have at least a minimum minimum type of shelter. This is in addition to space requirements. The space requirements are there on the form. They're relatively small. Uh, it's ideal, you know, to have a bigger area for the BN, but you need a smaller area, 400 square feet, um, to place them in initially. If you get one, you stick it out in a five acre pasture, you may never catch it again. So, you know, have a small round, round pen with a shelter, whatever you need to do um, in those initial stages to, you know, continue gentling your, your, your burrow. So once you get your BLM application, you submit it to your local uh, BLM office or the local BLM office of the tip trainer. Uh, pay your, you'll pay your fee $125 once you get your burrow. So there's no money up front. You submit your application, you work with your tip trainer. Uh, go out and visit that burrow if you can. Uh, get to know it. Make sure it's going to work for you. Uh, it's everything you expect it to be. And go get yourself a BLM burrow. So that's what we're hopefully going to do here um, this spring. Uh, we're working with the trainer in Colorado and uh, going to start on our adventure and with the goal of being able to pack them come this fall. So stay tuned. Episode 3 will hopefully be at the burrow facility and getting to see the borough for the first time. So thank you. Please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. This is cool stuff. Get yourself a borough. It's possible. Thanks.